Hi, I'm going to do another video. I'm going to show you guys how to wire a trailer connector on a Toyota Sienna minivan from 2004 to 2010. And what I'm going to use is I'm going to use the Tow Ready T connector or T1 connector. I've used this in one of my other vehicles, and uh, although it's more expensive than to just buy the four prong utility trailer plug and solder it into your vehicle the extra money you're going to spend on this is going to be worth every single penny you can buy these at eTrailer.com for about 35 bucks depending on uh, what kind of vehicle you have Amazon.com has them as well but please you know before you buy online look at your local business call your local welding shop see if they carry it the, this one for my vehicle was $45, $50 on the internet once I included shipping and the local retailer had it for $33. So uh, I saved myself 15 bucks and I supported a local business, which is always nice. All right, once I open the package, what I have inside is a nylon zip tie. So this will most likely be for fastening something to the vehicle. Then you're gonna have your T1 connector all nicely bundled here. When we open this up here is going to be a modulator box. You're going to have your trailer wiring connector. A uh, couple other connectors here that are going to connect to various leads on your vehicle. They will look a little different depending on what kind of vehicle you have. But essentially this will just plug into your tail light. And here you're going to have your vehicle specific instructions. They're going to be fairly easy to follow. But I'm going to show you how to do it on this vehicle. Okay, to do this job, you're going to need a few basic tools. You're going to need a cordless drill with a 330 second drill bit, a test probe or a voltmeter, a 10 millimeter socket driver, and a Phillips screwdriver. And you're going to need about 20 to minutes to half an hour of time. Let's go to the vehicle and start. We're going to take by taking off our tail lights. So you've got two 10 millimeter bolts there that need to come out. And if we go to the side of the vehicle, same with over here. So let's start by taking these out. There you go. You kind of twist it sideways and pull, and these metal tabs here come out of these spots. So it just comes out that way. So once you have this out, now what you want to do is you want to loosen these panels here and go all the way along the bottom and up there. And I think that there's going to be a couple screws in here that we need to remove first. So in here, yeah, right there in, in these hooks there's going to be uh, two of them anyway let's see this one here so yeah so in there is our 10 millimeter nuts that you need to take out this came off by me just pick lifting it up here and then sliding it forward like that so now I have this off and now you're also going to want to take this panel out where your jack is in because that's going to give you some access over to this corner that tail light so I've got this out here a little bit I think I've got one more tab I got to pull out and then we're gonna look at running our wires all right now I'm gonna unwind my wires as such so this is my trailer connector the white's gonna be my ground and then these are going to be my leads. The green and red and then the brown and white. Now what you want to do is you want to take the yellow wire, run it through the inside of the vehicle here and take the lead out to here. This is going to plug into your tail light and then what you unplug here is going to plug into there. There, I've done this all on the exterior of the vehicle so you can see. So 
this wire here is the wire that was connected to the tail light and this is my new wiring harness right there. Now what I want to do is I want to feed this wire neatly underneath the panel that I took off over here and then I'm going to come out inside here. So I'm going to need to pull this away from the edge of the wall to edge of the, the frame or the body of the car. So that's what I'm going to do. This is going to come along in here and then this box here is going to end up inside my jack, in my jack compartment there. So as you can see, the cable is running along here, under there, and out here. So now I've got this stuff here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to repeat the process that I did with the other side with the black or with the brown and yellow um, connector but I'm going to do that with the white, red and green connector on this side. So same thing, I'm going to run this up in here and then out of the vehicle. There we have it, out like this, and now the same thing, let's try and get the angle right here. We are going to carefully disconnect this clip, going to clip this in like this, this can go back in, and now this becomes our new lead for the tail light. as such. Click. There we go. I'm now just going to do a quick test to make sure that I have power, that my lights are working. Alright, I'm starting to lose light here, so this is going to be a little difficult to show you. I took my jack out, and now what you need to do is your module is going to tape with the double sided tape here somewhere against your frame. Find a spot where you can put it against where it's not going to interfere with the jack. Perhaps up here would work. And then we have this white wire with the eyelet and we're going to find a place along here where we can drill a hole and then ground our trailer connector. This is an important step because you need it for the continuity. But you want to make sure you're not doing this somewhere on the body where you're going to hit the exterior of the vehicle or somewhere where you're exposed to the elements because it will rust. So in a case like this, a good place is right along here where you've just got a little plate that is, um, like I said, it's really hard to see because there's no light. But uh, there's a plate right there that you can use. My drill has a light on it. so. There you can see that's where I'm putting the hole. So I routed everything behind there. That's how I'm routing it. So now I'm just going to clean this off a little bit here. So that, uh... alright you can see I got down to the bare metal. That's important. You need to get down to the bare metal here. Otherwise you're not going to get a good uh, ground. So now I'm going to take that white wire. I'm going to screw that white wire to the eyelet. All right, and then you got it nice and tight in there, and I've got my ground running in behind all the way down. That's where it comes down. That's where I'm going to tape my module on. All right, so everything checked out with my voltmeter. So I'm now done. And uh, when I'm not pulling the trailer, all the wires need to go inside that compartment where the jack is. And when you want to pull a trailer, you pull the wires out and let them hang out your tailgate and connect them to your trailer. There you go. Thanks for watching. I hope it helped.